all right so welcome back youtube to another video here with rustic automotive this afternoon we are going to be updating the sp datins for a customer of mine here that just got the software installed and we're going to be doing it using bmw coding tool pretty straightforward set of events here um he has an e61 that he will be doing some module replacements and programming on so right here we have version 68 sp datins and we are extracting the base files and also the e60 folder um, i'm just kind of making things simple instead of having a bag of folders to go into and this is actually a pretty straightforward right here we're setting the default folders for ncs expert which is on the c drive and it's there ncs expert without the t the area bus folder is going to be in the same location and the only one with a difference is the nfs folder which is located in the ec apps folder From there we select our SP source, get in our base files, which he has his in downloads, and those base files will give us just the basic um, datins that are needed. Uh, and we're not going to be running any backups of the soft of the files that are originally there after being installed in the program because we just want these files alone to be put in. And here's the E16. And we're just gonna kind of simplify the folder again. Just cut it and paste it back there. And then from there, <clears throat> we're gonna search for it in our SP source. And then we update the SP datin. Don't need any backups of the existing files. When this finishes then we do the same for the update of WinKFP after which we will then normalize the or reinitialize I should say the application by just starting any one of the BMW standard tools in this case we actually used INPA and after it resets itself you're good to go sp datins have been updated So as you see, just reinitializing the software. It's going to take a while to do its background processes, make sure that everything is okay. Then when it reopens, all your latest datums for that which has been updated will be up and ready to go. This is just showing you how to get it done. We're not connecting it to the car. We're not doing any flashing or anything like that. Just updating the datums. All right, so that would be that for today. And with that, hope you learned something new. I'm out.